Kevin, let's head into the KUAM News Zoom Room where we have the new, the new superintendent of the Catholic school system, Father Val Rodriguez. Good morning, Polly. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Chris, Sabrina, Jason, and of course, my friend, Joe, <laughs> Good morning, Father. Well, good morning. I, I guess first of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. It is it is such an honor to be appointed. <laughs> it's a big job ahead, but uh, I think uh, we're ready for that in a way. <laughs> Yesterday was your first day on the job. Uh, tell us uh, what you did. How you started your day? Uh, actually, it was last Tuesday. Oh, so last of course, that's the first day. The feeling of. Uh, yeah, so I went to the office, tried to talk to the staff, of course, tried to get information of how the office really works in a day-to-day -day basis, you know, because I've been away from the uh, system for quite some time. So it's like a comeback for me. So I have to be orient oriented at least of how the office of the superintendent goes in a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Very busy with all the meetings. <laughs> I can imagine. But you, you've had experience, right? Tell us about your background. Yeah, so I was ordained in 1998, and I did not really like uh, plan to be in the education world, if you may allow me to say that. But when I was ordained, uh, even as a deacon, my bishop immediately then, uh, Bishop Arrigo told me that I think you belong to the seminary to teach seminarians. So the very first assignment I had for four years was uh, to be in the seminary, going back to where I started my journey to the priesthood. And uh, I taught there for four years. And uh, being there as a teacher, as a professor, and also spiritual director of the seminarians really brought me into the world of this academia, <laughs> education world, which I said, primarily when I entered the seminary, I was really thinking of being in the parish, but I guess the, the Lord calls you where you are needed. And then from there, I was appointed as the superintendent of the Catholic schools, perhaps based on my experience in the seminary, and at the same time, the dean of the seminary during that time. So when I came here in 2009, if I, my memory serves me right, if you remember St. Thomas uh, Catholic High School, yes. it was newly established during the time when mm -hmm. I came. So when I came here, I was asked to help in the school. So I was the chaplain and teaching theology at St. Thomas. So basically, that's my experience when it comes to this kind of job. But, you know, Philippine educational system is different from our system here. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. can you kind of go over some of, uh, I guess, your, your goals? Well, the, the, the first I asked myself was, why would the Archbishop and perhaps the people, you know, I believe there's a committee that is assigned to really look for who would be the next superintendent because it was vacant for two months. And although we have the acting superintendent, of course, Sister Angela Perez, which she did really a good job, even though she was in the office just for two months. I believe it is more as a priest, uh, really, with no doubt, our Catholic schools, as I have seen them in my years of stay here on Guam, is really doing a great job when it comes to education. I think no doubt about that. But we must uh, not forget that our schools are not just a, a typical uh, school. It is a Catholic uh, school. So I think to bring back the Catholic, uh, not really bring back, it's, it's very Catholic, of course, but the presence of the priests in our schools, I think uh, that's what came into my mind. I said, perhaps they want to have a, a priest's presence in all our schools. And being a priest as a superintendent, I think hopefully can bring that uh, atmosphere in our Catholic school system. Are you, can you just go back? Are you saying that we're you're looking at maybe having a priest in every school? No, no, no. Uh, I mean, being a superintendent, then mm -hmm. I will be of course, more present. I guess my presence in the in our Catholic schools will be there. Uh, at least there is a particular priest that really looks at all our schools. So the presence of me being a priest, I guess, and with the help, I have talked to a couple of my brother priests, actually telling them that if he can, they can help me in the ministry of, of course, uh, 
having that Catholic uh, atmosphere in our Catholic you know, schools, not I'm saying that the, the Catholic uh, atmosphere is not there, but mm -hmm. the presence of our clergymen will, I think, uh, bring more emphasis in them. Right. And, and you said you actually had started last <laughs> week, right? Uh, right, last week? That's when you said you started? The what? As a super No, last Tuesday. Yeah, like a week this ago. This is my third day. Okay, so yeah, just two days ago. Yeah, okay. three days now. Yeah. Okay. Anything um, while you've been out and about that you saw that I need to kind of address this immediately? Well, the the truth is, I'll be honest with you. Last Tuesday, when I came to the office, I had meetings with people. I think that I should really meet in order for me to be oriented and to know the situation of our of the office and of course of our Catholic schools. I had meetings, at least four meetings last Tuesday and I had three meetings yesterday. <laughs> so it's all like for the past days, it's just meetings, knowing what's happening, knowing the situation. And I plan to visit, I have meetings also today, or rather tomorrow. And uh, I plan to visit our schools next week to visit each one of them so that I can actually see uh, with my own eyes, uh, I have to be honest that uh, a few of our schools, I have our schools, I have not even stepped into the campuses. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you know, I know, I know that you have a lot of experience uh, in um, running a school system, but I wanted to ask, uh, how different and difficult is it um, adding the whole COVID nineteen pandemic? Oh, believe me, Chris, these past meetings is really more on that concern. <laughs> I mean, this totally really almost occupies our concern. Uh, I mean, this pandemic situation is a major concern for all of us and urgent, very important, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, how do you kind of juggle? You're right, because it's it's got to be like more than half of everything you guys do moving forward. So how do you kind of... Uh, Put all those protocols and safe and you know in place and do all the measures and still deliver like a, a good education for the kids in the catholic school system that will that will really be the greatest challenge actually Chris. so this week i really want to i really plan to as i said i want to visit uh, it's not really it's not an inspection it's really just a visit for me to see of how they are doing and what we can do to continue the quality education and of course the Catholic education in spite of this pandemic of all of those safety measures that we have to do. But I would like to really congratulate our school administrators that they so far with all the meetings that I had for the past two days, they have been doing everything really they can to make our schools safe for everybody that is involved, our faculty, our administration, and especially our students and their parents. So I would like to thank our teachers for doing their great job. But as, as you have mentioned, it's really a great challenge. And as I have said, I have just entered into the office. So I will have to see what are the things we can do in order to really continue the quality education and the Catholic formation in spite of this protocols and everything. I just had a question uh, related to the education stabilization funds because this is one of the things that uh, we had spoken with your, your predecessor, uh, Dr. Juan Flores, on uh, the management of that money and the accountability of that money. Um, do you do you have you had a chance to kind of get familiar with where uh, the money's been spent or how much money uh, is still left over? Uh, I believe with the ESF one, it's uh, it's done. We are now in the ESF two, but honestly, uh, I have not seen the uh, what I have now. Actually, when I went to the office last Tuesday, is to give me the the things I should read regarding it to be to be to know the information about what are are these grants and everything like that. And my meeting with the core group that handles actually all these grants will be t tomorrow, Friday. So by that time, I will be able to know the status of what, where did they go and everything and where will they be spent. So tomorrow, but as of now, I, I have no detailed information about that yet. Well, like you said, it's only like your third day on the job. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, I wanted to ask also, Father. Oh, Bob, thank you, thank you. If if you don't mind, so in the, in the Catholic school uh, system, how are, how are uh, important are some of the um, like Mount Carmel and and Father Duaneus, uh, these schools that kind of I mean not necessarily stand on their own, but uh, how um, do you plan to address uh, well just those uh, schools? Have you been down to to those? Oh, what do you mean? I didn't get that. Sorry. Uh, with Father Duaneus, the Mount Carmel school, there there was a little bit of controversy, right, um, with the former superintendent. Has that all been kind of resolved? Um, I, I have not. Uh, I still have to meet these people. I mean, I have to. But uh, honestly, no. The, the first focus I had was really to look at how the office works. Uh, and then I look at all of those papers I have to read regarding the grants, as uh, Sabrina has mentioned. And then uh, yesterday I had a meeting with uh, what we call as the WCEA, where that accredits all our schools. And uh, so all of those concerns first. And then, of course, uh, the procedures regarding all of this safety protocols on uh, because of this pandemic. So with all the other concerns yet, I still have to go through them start peak <laughs> right. as I meet our, our school administrators. Yeah. Right. So how long do you think that is, is going to take you to kind of go around and do all your rounds at all the different uh, schools? Uh, I, I honestly can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I devoted myself. I told the, the office staff that uh, next week I devote that to really uh, visit our schools, one school from, to the other, right, right. To, to have a first of all, I, to see with my own eyes how they are doing. It's different when you just talk with people who tell you what's happening rather than you yourself seeing it. So so the visit is really literally just a visit for me to, to, have a, a, to see what's the situation in reality of our Catholic schools. And then from there, we can plan ahead and what, what, what we need to do. Right on. So it sounds like uh, Father Val is going on some field trips next week. Ah, I know, like the whole island. <laughs> <laughs> a few more schools I, I schools I have not even seen yet. So I have to be honest with that. All right. So, so I, I really have to be and see. Thank you for your time uh, this morning, Father Val. Is there a message you have for uh, just, I guess, students, parents, staff of the Catholic school uh, system? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank, of course, uh, our predecessors, Dr. Juan Flores, and the one who acted as superintendent for the past two months, Sister Angela. They did a really good job in our Catholic education system here in the Archdiocese of Bagania. Uh, so far, with all the meetings I had with key persons that I need to talk to in order to really take over of the office, I have seen that our school administrators, every school is really doing everything they can that in spite of this pandemic of the situation that we have, they are really, you know, they make sure that our schools are safe for our students, as I said, in spite of the situation. Uh, rest assured to our parents and especially our students that we will do everything to really continue the quality education that we have, the quality Catholic education, and we will try our best to make our schools as safe as we can for you so that we can continue this quality education, Catholic education that we have. So to all of those who really support our Catholic school system, I believe even Sabrina, right? I think you have a son who goes to say that. <laughs> so yes, I do. We thank, we thank all of you. And we assure you that we'll do everything to really make our education quality, Catholic education, and safe for every one of us. Father Val, so um, thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, you, ha you have Val. a lot of fans on our live stream and even on my WhatsApp, <laughs> and, and I'm getting messages. Oh, I, I, I don't thank know. you. I really need prayers. You know, <laughs> right, when, yeah. when, when I heard that I will be appointed, I said, oh my gosh, I really need a lot of prayers for this job. <laughs> Uh, but you know it's God's work, so we yeah. are just instruments. Uh, we did. We did get a couple requests, Father Val. If you could lead us in a in a yeah. prayer before you go, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay. It will be an honor. Right. Hey, let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our loving Father, we praise and worship you and thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. The very first gift we have received from you is the gift of life. And now as we go through this pandemic, loving Father, we beg you to send us the Holy Spirit to give us the health and the strength 
so that we may be able to fight and avoid this virus. And through your grace and strength that you give us, we can always do your will. We ask you to bless all of those people, especially those who help our Catholic educational system here in the Archdiocese of Bagania, and those people who continue to serve our people, even those who are in the mass media. And so I ask you, Lord, to bless each one of us and keep us safe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you very Mel. much, and God bless you. Thank you to all of those who to, who watch your show. God Thank bless you, you, Father Val. Thank you, Father. All right, there Thank you go, you, Father Val. Talk about hit the ground running, <laughs> right? <laughs> Catholic Schools uh, Superintendent at 722. We're going to take a really quick break and come back with more of the link next. Good morning. Breeze, Breast cancer is a 